I've never done an unboxing video before, so, uh, well, here's a big box. It's uh, on our terrace table. Uh, so, why not start here? Take a sharp knife and uh, just you know, go across the top. See what we've got. Aha. Uh -huh. We've got another box. Well, that's typical of Amazon, isn't it? Right, just let me get and tip one out of the other. So here's the box within a box, and uh, all looks okay at the moment. But uh, I've now got another box to un undo. So just let me slid it across here. bit tricky when you're trying to do something one-handed. There we go. And what have we got? Of course we've got a box within a box. Now you can see what it is. Uh, when we were in England we stayed with our friends Jude and Mark and they both got this uh, Ninja Foodie Maxi air fryer thing and, and they swore by it. They said it was great. And when we went to see Serena she had exactly the same one. Uh, she said it was great too. Leon was really into it, thought it was fantastic. Uh, and I'd been thinking about it for quite a long time. And uh, well, it's nearly Nita's birthday, so I've treated ourselves to a little present here. So it's a Ninja, Ninja Foodie Maxi 9.5 litre air fryer dual zone. It's got two, two, uh, two containers there, but we'll see those as we open it up a little bit further. Well, it's a little bit like opening one of those Russian dolls, box within a box. Well, here's the box with pretty pictures on, and uh, that's what it should be looking like on the inside. Turning it round to this side, we've got our little flaps to pull open here, and that should allow us to open it up. The rubbish men arriving, uh, so on the top. Ooh, that feels quite a weighty item. Here we've got the book. Looks like it's in multi languages, that'll help. Because obviously we brought it from Spain. And here's the instructions. Whoa. Plenty of those, got uh, nearly 200 pages of instructions. As we bought it in Spain, it's got the, uh, the European plug on it. It's good because that's what fits into our sockets. And we got more packaging. It's well packaged, lots of uh, cardboard to protect it all the way around. I guess this is it here. Right. So, excuse me while I take it out of the box. Well, the first thing I notice when I'm getting it out of the box is it's heavy. So, uh, won't be moving it around too much. And uh, that's what it looks like. Some air vents at the back. And the drawers at the front are all taped up, so just a little bit of masking tape here. That looks easy to remove. And uh, these are the drawers. Oh, I've got something else in the drawers here. I think that might just be some packaging just to hold the tray down there into position and that comes out put in whichever you need nice big space there to cook whatever you're going to cook exactly the same on the other side and at the top we've got more uh, more protection which I can now rip to so come off anyway Oh, 
looks pretty good. Just got a little bit of dust in there. Fill. Take that off. I think that's it. Well, that looks all right. All seems to be functioning. Uh, seems to be what it's supposed to be. Second drawer. I'm going to take that packaging out. I don't want to cook that. I think that's going to be very interesting. It's got uh, on the front, uh, well, roast, air fry, max crisp, whatever that means. You've got the start, stop, that's a button or a dial. Uh, bake, reheat, dehydrate. And because it's got two separate compartments, which is one of the attractions of this particular model, is that you can control each compartment separately. Uh, and you can cook one thing in one, one thing in a different thing in the other, and they're not going to interfere with each other. So when I've seen others and people have cooked everything together, I'm just thinking, does the flavour just get transposed to everything that's there and everything gets... Um, the same flavour. So if you can keep your meat and your vegetables separate, I think that's a really good move. So quite really excited, quite excited to get to use, the, use this and see what, what it uh, actually turns out like. So I think uh, that's my unboxing. I'll make another video of um, actually using the machine when I've learned how to use it. I need to read a book first. Thanks very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now. I wasn't sure where to start with this uh, air fryer, so um, I've decided I'm just going to do some cauliflower. And uh, to the cauliflower, I'm going to add some oregano, I've got some black pepper, um, I'm going to add some chili flakes, and some paprika, and just a little salt. So uh, and then one actually ingredient, I thought I'd add a little grated cheese. So we've got this cheese in the house, so I thought, hey, I've used it, let's get it used now. And, uh, well, I like a little garlic as well. So, let's see what, how it all turns out. What we may well have used with this um, air fryer is that we don't actually use much oil. So, I don't really use much oil. I have a little dribble, dribble of uh, olive oil. This is actually half a cauliflower that I've broken down into the florets and I'm just going to add to that, it says a quarter of a teaspoon in the recipe I've just looked at, so that's just a little paprika. Um, chilies are not in the recipe at all, so I'm making my own mind up here, just a little sprinkling of chilies. little oregano and I'll put half a spoonful or so of those and uh, some black pepper again not too much a quarter of a spoonful should be plenty and then my little addition to this is going to be the uh, the grated cheese isn't in the original recipe, so add a little grated cheese. I don't know how much is enough. I do like cheese. Okay, I'll try that. And then it's just a matter of mixing them together so that the florets are sort of covered. Oh, I've just noticed I've forgotten one, for me, quite a vital ingredient. And that's the garlic. So, again, just using the grater. Grating the garlic. I'm a lover of garlic, so I'm actually going to put two cloves of garlic in. I'm 
really curious to find out what this is going to taste like. It does actually say to use garlic salt. So I suppose I need to add some salt as well. salt. There we are. Mix that all in. The interesting bit into the basket of the air fryer. fryer. Now, I don't know how this, well this is supposed to stick to the outside, but it's This is what the air fryer looks like, and uh, well, I'm just going to put them in, put the florets in there. It says to space them out so that it's sort of on one way. I suppose that's to get the air around. But I did choose the, the bigger option. There is, a, there is a smaller version of this particular air fryer. Uh, there are only two of us in the family, so. Yes, I may have overdone it, but that looks as though it's pretty well spread out. And then I'm going to put it in the air fryer. So this is a very much a first use, so I'm guessing that's to switch it on. Mm -hmm. Sounds exciting. Um, I'm going to put it onto air fry, so that's that one. Uh, 200 degrees, so I'm going to select that. Um, time, I don't think I need 90. Whoops. Stop that. That must obviously start it. So go on to that one, and uh, now I need to choose temperature. No, temperature's fine. Time 20. No, it says only about 12 minutes. So 12 minutes. And now I've pressed this one, I guess, to start. Magic. What it does say is every three or four minutes uh, I need to come back and give it a little bit of a shake. So, see you in three minutes. So that's about three or four minutes and that looks pretty much okay. I'm just going to carry on with that. I've pressed the wrong button, I think. So, what have I got to do? I've got to check, check my air fryer. That's okay. Time. I think I'm uh, down to about eight or nine minutes now. Let's start on that. All new to me this is, so uh, well, let's hope it works. Well, that's another three or four minutes, so have a look. Oh, and this sizzling away nicely in there. Uh, just gonna give, give them a little bit of a shape. Just turn them around. Alexa, stop. Just using my Alexa or Anita's Alexa to time things up. And it just carries on. That's what I didn't know before whether it just carried on. It just carries on. You take it out, and it stops, and you put it back in, and it starts up again. So I'll let it run the next uh, three or four minutes and uh, see how it goes. Alright, about two, two and three quarter minutes left, and uh, just having a look at these now. Just a little move around, but no, maybe I'm going to do these a little bit more. See how it goes. According to the timer, there's about 10 seconds left, so uh, we'll find out how the ninja's done on these. With that allotted time, 12 minutes, was it enough? They're all nicely sizzling in there. I'm going to take one out and uh, have a look to see what it tastes like. Well, 
top it certainly looks cooked on the outside cuts nice and easily well that's, that's very good not for a first try I'm quite impressed yeah I'm going to say I enjoyed that one I decided to do the, uh, the rest of them just a little bit longer, uh, so I had, had three minutes and I maybe I've overcut these a little bit, but uh, I think they're going to be perfect, at least to my liking. So let's just uh, pop these out onto the plate. And uh, well, I've got a little bit of a cleaning job I suppose now to do. Um, it does recommend that you don't use the dishwasher. It says it is dishwasher safe, but it will long lengthen the life of it if you don't use the dishwasher. So it's a little bit of hand washing for me. Uh, a little bit of soap and water, that's okay. But here is the, the finished article. And it's, um, well, it's a sort of little snacky sort of thing I like. And, uh, well, almost no calories, nothing to be concerned about. So, if you fancy that one, please give us a thumbs up and uh, share it with your friends. Thanks for watching, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.